I'm going to try and solder them this way. But I think I'm gonna drill the holes first on the ends because uh, the, the little contraption is going to be something like this. Once it's completed. And that should give me 10 times whatever the undo. IR F1444. This should be powerful enough to control the uh, the amps coming through, as long as all of them are, you know, these are purchased from China, so hopefully they're 100%. I purchased them from a reputable dealer, just like everything else I purchased, so hopefully they're 100% good. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, is I'm gonna drill two holes at the very end, and I'm gonna find some bolts that fit it, that way I have something to tie on to. Uh, once I do that, I'll be back and I will solder on all these and then do the legs. And uh, explain my way as I go through.
All right, so that was the switch part and I used the IRF 1404s and then I got to thinking, I forgot that I had gotten this a while back ago and this is a time controlled switch with, uh, I'm not really for sure what they want to call that, but that's the mom switch, I guess. You can use this for the switch or you can use this for the switch. This kind of cuts off the power. Uh, this like you can you could connect a power switch to this and you can connect the momentary button to this and that will That will have this up. I can use this with this Probably connect it to the back of the positive back here and then this going to I was gonna use a 9 volt battery, but I'm gonna do a little bit of more research because uh, the guy that the guy that actually came up with this design, I'll leave a link for his video down in the description. Uh, he used a 9 volt battery, but I think I want to use uh, 18650s, that way I can just recharge it as I go. I'm actually gonna shoot this part probably this this part of the video is actually done before the last part of the video that you guys are fixing to watch because I already did my ending but before I did my ending I didn't I just made sure I did my ending with the testing that way you guys can see that this thing worked uh, this little uh, I don't know timer I got uh, I've had it for a while uh, I believe I found another one just like it on uh, Amazon I'll leave a link for it um, it's got it's got a place for a switch and of course I use this because my my uh, my foot pedal plugs right into it so that'll work there and then right here this uh, s5 what it does is it disconnects the positive from this and so it kind of just isolates it so you can actually use this a different way but because of the way i'm using this i need it i need it you know i need the power going through there to the very end so what will end up happening is i can use this as a safety switch so that when i power it on it doesn't just go off because when you first power this on uh the initial first power on, power on does the first pulse and in order for it to work for what I need, I don't want to accidentally pulse myself or something like that. You know, it could hurt possibly. But uh, doing putting the safety on there means that, you know, if I'm not using it, I can shut it off and nobody can accidentally, you know, tap the foot pedal or something like that. And uh, that is going to go with something like this. I kind of just did this on camera too. You guys will see that. And that'll plug right into here whenever I'm ready. Um, if I have everything set correctly this should all work the switch should all work with just something as like a little 12 volt battery I'm just using this one more likely when I build my box and all that good junk it's gonna be a smaller battery but I'm gonna make sure that it's the same kind of you know 3s battery um, you've got 
this that'll plug into the positive of the switch. I'm not gonna plug it in all the way, I don't like popping these apart. Uh, your first power is gonna go into the actual timer. The negative is gonna go to the negative of the timer. And the other negative is gonna go to the negative of the switch. And then I'll connect my foot pedal to the pulse just like that more likely it'll be on the outside of whatever case I use and this will be set to off um, what I've noticed is people that use this timer or this kind of uh, contraption they always go from the negative instead of the positive so I'm gonna connect this to I know in my test I did it from the positive uh, hopefully that didn't really matter too much it's just going through it uh, more likely this will go on the negative of my uh, capacitor welder uh, if I if if all this is connected like I think it is connected and I've seen people use the same kind of contraption you know with more powerful stuff than capacitors it should give me the pulse that I want all right so here's a quick test of this little timer I got a while back ago I'm not sure I can only get it down to 1.3 seconds no it's 0.13 seconds uh, might be too fast I might have to actually use a 555 timer uh, let's just see if this works I've been wanting to use this for a while I've seen a couple other people use it with their tab welders and it seemed to do pretty good but they were using uh, the resistance welding they weren't using capacitor welding so I'm a, I got the light connected to it I've got 12 volts running through that I've got this running 12 volts and uh, 12 volts should be running from this to power that so I think I've got everything hooked up correctly if I do this light will come on and off pretty quick so let's quick test and then I'm just gonna turn it up just a little just to mess around the pot doesn't have that much of a turn to it it's pretty pretty straightforward That's 0 0.13, se 0.13 seconds. That still may be too fast. And I've got 12 volts running through everything so that I can use it with the 12 volt system or I can power it from a 12 volt system. This little switch is pretty nifty though. Um, with this little jumper in, it sends 12 volts, or sends the power that you got going through here through right there, so you don't really gotta connect too much stuff. So uh, I'm gonna say that's pretty successful. This uh, switch is working pretty good. So. Uh, I guess if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll check you guys out in my next video.